Hey Sagittarius, welcome to your general reading. If you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get all the messages I post each month. And to my lovely loyal subscribers, welcome back. Just a quick note, you may have seen, um, I posted a video, somebody is impersonating me and other YouTubers I've heard. Um, if you see somebody put a telephone number in the description box, uh, sorry, in the comment section, it will not be me, okay? I'm not gonna put my number in the comment section. I'm from the UK. The number that they've been putting in is apparently from the USA. Um, so you can rest assured it's not me or if you are on another channel and you see this happening the easiest way to see if it's the actual YouTuber commenting um, first their name will be highlighted in grey um, second you can just click on to that um, channel and see that it's not posting the same video they're commenting on so if you see this and you have a second please do report it okay guys so we have light reversed love begins and positive movement forward okay so you've had some major delays in moving things forward in love but it seems like finally i feel like that <sighs> finally we're moving forward here um after growth it does feel like you know a long day <laughs> with that positive movement forward a lot of hard work um I guess, you know, having to face the light and the dark, it's not all rainbows and butterflies, is it? As we see in the Love Begins card, but finally, there's an opportunity for love here to get that positive movement forward. Let's see, Five of Cups, okay. Um, remember, the dreaded Mercury is going retrograde. <laughs> this is somebody missing you here. Queen of Swords. Um, I feel like you could be saying, ah, I learnt my lesson. <laughs> Um, because this Queen of Swords, she's open to communication. You can tell her, I miss you, but she may not have the answer for you that you are expecting. So could somebody could be expecting you to be a pushover and nice, and no, you have those healthy boundaries in place, so they better work, right? Especially if they want you, they better work. Truth. <laughs> Lots of opportunities here. It might be a Libra coming towards you. I told the Libras they have all the aces. So they want to play their aces here. Somebody wants to play their cards with you. They want to come forward and try and break into this relationship. So this is communication, um, socializing, wanting to get to know you, uh, wanting to talk to you. So somebody might be eager to talk to you here. It could be longing for a love connection, somebody to connect with and talk with. Six of Wands, they're really attracted to you here. This could, of course, be somebody new coming in. Um, so don't judge them by somebody from the past. Maybe don't be so harsh on them. Um, because this person, they do want to get to know you. They want to know the true you. And maybe right now or when you first meet them, you have this guard up. There's okay having healthy boundaries, but there's a guard here um, that's way up. Um, because you're like, hmm. I found out the truth the hard way before, so let me just find the truth the easy way up front before we get into a relationship. I want to know the truth first. Um, but there's definitely this opportunity to break through um, and fly here and, you know, move into good times. This person sees your worth. They see your beauty. They see um, beautiful things about you inside and out. Let's see here. The tower, um, you've already made major changes to your life here. So I feel like this person coming in, it's, it's either somebody you're not expecting or you don't really want to make big changes to your life the way um, the last tower you went through. So what's going on here is you're kind of saying my way or the highway. Especially if it's, this is somebody new, you're laying down the ground rules, your boundaries, from the get-go here. You're like, I get it. There's an opportunity for love. You do want me. You are being honest, but <laughs> um, the Hierophant, because you've learned your lesson here. Like, uh-uh, once bitten, twice shy. I'm not going to go down that path again. So I need to know um, when you was born, where you was born. I'm going to check you out here. Um, let me look up your star sign. 
Need your date of birth and place of birth, please. Time of birth would be great. <laughs> You're really checking in and finding out the information about this person. If this is an ex, I see you looking into them very deeply, playing detective here, like, I'll find out the truth. If you can't tell me the truth, I'll find out the truth. Um, the problem with this is seek and you shall find. So if you're in a relationship, you may find something, um, you may find out the truth, but it may not be what you want to hear. So you may be like, ha ha, I knew I was right, but there's no prize for being right here because it might be that you find out somebody is cheating on you here. So that's is if you're in a relationship. Okay, guys. Yeah, there you are snooping. <laughs> <laughs> Page of Swords there, Princess of Swords in this deck. I'm, if you want to know the ins and outs. You're a detective. And you're like, I'll find the truth. <laughs> I'll find the truth. Why don't you go become a detective? <laughs> you know, because it seems like you will really snoop on their cousins, brothers, cats, aunties, gerbils, Facebook to find out what you need to find out. And you'll find it, all right? You'll find it. Like I said, seek and you shall find. And then you may be cutting somebody loose, the four of pentacles. So if you look and you find someone you don't like, you may cut this person loose and end up missing um, each other. If this has already happened and this person wants to return to you, they're kind of saying or messaging you here with the page, oh, I know I was wrong. But it's sort of like an immature way of communicating. I know I was wrong. They don't want to admit that they haven't let go of you. They're still trying to hold on to a little bit of ego and you might just be like off with your head, Queen of Swords energy here. Like, no, um, you're still lying. So cutting this connection off. <laughs> um, so they may come back and not expect this tower from you to be like, no, I still know what you're up to. Three of Wands there. So this is communication coming in. Very soon, actually, you will have this communication with this person. We'll see how it goes. Let me know in the in the comment section, right? Eight of Cups. Um, it's like you're kicking them out the door here. Like, uh-uh. Yeah, I, I know what you're still up to here. So you're not falling for any sort of game, even if it's from somebody new. You'll be like, this guy said he's great. Or this girl said she's fantastic. Let me just check them out. You're really not taking chances this time. You're playing detective and you'll walk away if somebody is not meeting your standards here. Um, it might be quite shocking to them how quickly you will actually walk away and cut them off with this Queen of Swords, Ace of Swords energy. Um, so let's see. This, of course, could be somebody who walked away but didn't really want to. They walked away because of their ego got in the way. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Getting to know each other. You certainly are getting to know them, okay? Healing family issues reversed there. So could be having family issues for some um, that haven't been healed yet. Um, romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Not everybody is going to be a liar and a cheat. So just remember that. You know, we don't want to start off relationships where we are like, ha I've caught you. <laughs> First, maybe try trust, right, guys? Like always, I'll leave information about how to get personal readings from me in the description box, not on a comment with my phone number, but only an email in the description box. Okay, guys, take care.